about yesterday Your smile, your style so fly My, oh my As time stood still I got the urge To steal a kiss And so I did Now I'm embarrassed But just a little bit Oh, there must be gold on those lips And honey on those fingertips Can you imagine us too Out in the woods in a big old It was just a rainy, yucky day, and I just didn't feel like doing much of anything. So, today, though, we are headed, before we do school, which is the fun of homeschool and e school and all the different schools, is that we can do stuff, work it around our schedule. So, we're going to go out this morning and go check out the beach at um, Stone Lake Park. And um, we went and we made it to the playground part last time, but we didn't actually make it down to the beach. So we're gonna go check out the beach. And then um, we are gonna come back. We'll do some lunch, some school, and just kinda take you guys along with us. Okay, so we are here. Luke, you gotta wait for everybody. This is definitely a cooler playground at this one at Stone Lake, but we like East Fork Lake better beach-wise. This is a very small little beach instead of a bigger beach but we are here so we're gonna hang out here for just a little bit before we head home for school oh ash did not wear a sweatshirt well what kind of sand is it it's like, like the other one like the gravel like the other one oh look wait <laughs> oh, my heart did not turn out so good. It looks like a three. Just don't get your butt wet, baby. Oh, mine looks like a circle. <laughs> Thank you. 
night made homemade pizza and she made cookies. So I am gonna heat up these pizzas up to start on the thing here. There we go. I'm gonna heat up that pizza and I wanted to show you guys this egg because one of our chickens, Raven, like the biggest egg, if you guys can see that. I don't know how good it picks up on the camera, but she laid the biggest egg today. God love her. All right, I'm gonna heat this pizza up. That's gonna be our lunch. We just walked in, so everybody needs to wash your hands and get ready for school. And then the girls want me to take them tonight to Walmart to get the rest of their gift for Katie because her birthday is tomorrow, so. Do they want you to take them? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking you should take them because I'm tired and don't feel like it. Oh, Ash asked me to, uh, that's hard to say. To do it? Ash asked me. Dude, He's gonna gone. take them tonight for me. <laughs> That'll work because then I'll finish up dinner. So I'll probably take over Brooke's dinner tonight then so they can go. Do I have to bring them back? Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Alright, I'm gonna throw this lunch in. <laughs> the chicken in the oven for Brooke and then she is gonna shred it up oh my goodness I fogged up okay so here's the chicken I just just baked it nothing special at all um so that she can just shred it up we're gonna let that cool for a few and then she will um, get on that okay we are about to start dinner up <laughs> well have Brooke do her part but we were out here deciding on where we're putting the pool and the swing set so I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so Charles is kind of roped off here. We will be moving, <laughs> I'm gonna start coughing because he's got all the spray paint going. We will be moving this bird bath and we're gonna move it to the back seven and we'll probably use these rocks with some of our other stuff. And then, and then this used to be a birdhouse and it still will be. He's gonna repaint the pole black and we're gonna move this back that way some out there and and you can see here this used to be red so he is painting it blue and it will say on it uh we'll hook the blue jay drive sign to this so i think that'll be exciting and then we have on one day next week we don't know what day weather permitted we got a better quote so we're having them come out and they are filling this pool and what are they using uh they're using a crushed aggregate so I'd say that's like a stone rock, maybe mixed concrete or limestone maybe. And they said that it won't go anywhere, like we can build on it right away. So we are thinking of the swing set will either go there or a little back further. And then the pool, honey, I don't. Ash is asking where her phone is. Check the, the table in the dining room where you were doing school. So, and then the pool we're gonna put in here towards the back and build up a deck and what he's outlined here then you guys is gonna be the new fencing so we will take the fence there'll be a gate that comes over and opens over here and then this will be more yard out here but then also the pool so the pool will cover like this part back here along with the deck and this fence will be no more. And then the yard will go back here. 
um, we are going to remove the fence back here too and move it out here to the yellow line. So if we don't feel comfortable putting the swing set on that for some reason, then we will put it right directly behind it. And that'll open this up. This yard then should be about the size of our yard at our other house, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be really close. Yeah. Which would be a great immediate backyard. And, and then he just said he'll put a, a gate in the back too so he can get in and out with the mowers and stuff. Or if we want to go to the barn or whatever. So it'll basically, I'll take an eight foot section and just split it down the middle and swing it outward. Right. And then back in here, we are going to have some, it's just going to be for play where we do cornhole and all of our fun stuff. But it's also going to be some raised beds out here. The chickens are going to be moved out to our gardens out there in the back seven. And we're going to get more of the fencing so that they have like double, you know, like this size, not double, but like this size. And I think that's where we are right now. I'm kind of out of breath. You guys, change of season weather is just awful for me. So I know I'm looking rough. It just is. But that's, I think that's you guys up to everything. We've got Monday. The guy is coming to make sure that he doesn't need to do anything, which is why we had to figure this all out so we can start removing the fence because he's got to come make sure that he doesn't need to do anything or get the ground perfectly level and everything for it, um, for putting the pool in. So he is coming to evaluate what all needs to be done there. And then we will set up the day with him to set the pool. And then Charles has to take the fencing out so that they can get their big equipment in to fill up that pool over there. So that's where we are so far. Then on the other side of our fence over there is going to be my big clothesline. Because as soon as the weather is nice enough, I will be line drying clothes instead of uh, using the dryer. I've always wanted to do that. And... Um, I would have at our other place. It just wasn't allowed. And when we were in the country before, I did do that. Um, and I just liked it. I like it better. Yeah, I'll probably gate it right between the trees with an eight foot and then give you a, a four foot gate, give or take, over on the side to get out up toward the corner. And mm -hmm. then we'll have it gated to get to the driveway on this side. And those will be all the exit gates. That'll be perfect. And then we'll have to lock them. But it'll be, yeah. it'll be much safer back here and I'll feel so much better when uh, the kids come out to play and there's not a big hole for the pool. That's the other thing. The fence that I'm going with, when I put the four by fours in, I'm gonna leave them tall and I'll be putting six foot dog ears on them and yeah, I'll be swooping the dog ears down. Like our old house. But <laughs> I'm gonna leave that fence at its lowest rate. It'll be 54 inches high. So that will be six inches higher in the fence now so you can that'll be good so okay. you can just imagine the fence is going to come up probably a little higher than that so the fence actually would be should be better for keeping Cora in too yes well and i don't want kids climbing out so it'll be 54 so yeah it'll come almost to the top like the lowest part of the fence will come to the the top of the pole and then the highest part i'll have it 60 inches which will be like right about there That'll be good. And then we're going to build the pool deck in kind of into the fence. So that'll be a little bit higher at the deck part. And I know you guys are wanting to know about our Cora. Cora Jean is doing okay. Uh, she's adjusting to the bucket. I cannot wait for the vet to take that back off of her head. <laughs> I hate it on her. God love her. But um, her eye though, her eye I don't feel is healing at the rate that it should. And maybe I'm wrong, but all the swelling from the surgery has gone down, but now it still looks like it did when we actually took her to get the surgery. And I would just would have thought that it would look better by now. I, I don't know. Um, we're going to call the vet, I think, tomorrow. And um, tomorrow is also Katie's birthday. It's her last day of being 21. But we're going to call the vet, I think, tomorrow and just say, do you want to see her again? You know, maybe take a picture and email her to her and see what else we can do to try and make it go down faster. She only has one pain pill left and she gets that tonight. So I don't know if I should give her more pain pills, if I need more, I don't know. So we're just gonna call the vet. I still have medicine to give her, to keep her calm and in a calm state. Although 
It doesn't work all that great. It does in the morning. I can calm her down a little and at night but during the day. I think she's being a little bit too active. Um, and the doctor did say that increasing the blood flow to the eye is going to make it take longer to heal. So whenever she's being too crazy. Here's my girl. Oh, honey. Oh, she's. Um, so I did. <laughs> she's trying to give me all my love. Um, so I just, I have to call her tomorrow. That's, that's really all that it boils down to. He is back to measuring stuff. I need to go and get Brooke started on this. So let's go get Brooke, get Brooke and start this dinner up. I know, but look at your fingers. They're a little bit dirty. They're a little bit dirty? Yeah, we better go wash our hands. You just got out of the bath. I left the bath? Yeah, remember that? Yeah. What are you doing now? We're <laughs> looking for somewhere to dig, but you're already dirty. You don't need to get more dirty, buddy. Uh, as I'm walking back, I got to show you something else we got to do. Is we're going to do like a half plexiglass, half <laughs> screen somehow, unless you guys have better ideas. She just jumps up just to peek inside and see what's going on, even though she wants out. And just one touch of the screen and it shreds with those big claws. So we got to get that taken care of as well. Okay. All right, so here goes Brooke. I did go ahead and cut up some chicken for her, and this is just in the juices that the chicken made itself, and we're just going to add the sauce to it and put it in. Yes, so I'm going to add some cream of chicken, and then I'm going to add some water, and then a spoon of bouillon something. <laughs> Like a heaping spoon? Mm -hmm. spoon? That's good. You can just use that same spoon. To mix it? Yep. Or? And just stir it all up. And then you're going to pour that over the meat before we put it in the oven. And then after this, we're going to put some buttermilk biscuits on um stone baking yes. stone on a baking call. stone very good and then i'm gonna make some morning star corn dogs for ash in the air fryer i thought you're gonna make her a sausage to go with the biscuits uh she did not want sausage okay yes are we gonna have any kind of vegetables tonight i mean i could make some broccoli okay yeah. maybe yeah. I think broccoli you love broccoli you love steamed broccoli i think we've got some in there if not, we have, I think, some bags of frozen. We'll see what we got. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Do you yeah. think that's good or do yeah. I keep stirring? that's good. Okay. And I just pour it. Mm-hmm. Let's stir it up. Yum. And I think that's, maybe we'll make rice if we have time. Oh, yeah, you want to make like rice. This is like a side dish, and because rice is yummy.
here is Brooke's dinner for tonight. Go on to yes. share what it is. We have some, uh, I don't know if I should call this steamed because it was in the microwave, but we have some cooked broccoli. That's a good word. And then we have rice, biscuits, and I, I guess I just call this chicken. Yeah, it's just like a yeah. creamy chicken. Yeah. And then I need some uh, corn dogs rash. They're good. Very good. And Charles had bought the kids for dessert tonight. Brooke decided not to cook because Charles got um, a pumpkin pie for cake because it's one of her favorites and she already ate like a huge chunk of it. And then he'd gotten donuts when they were at Walmart. So they have all that for dessert. They already ate all the cookies Ash made and we got to finish picking up school stuff. <laughs> this is a book of Luke's and all that uh, pencils and stuff. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up tonight's video for you guys. We're gonna go on and eat dinner. I'm gonna get this ready. And we will see all of you guys tomorrow with Kate's birthday and a happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye everybody, have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.